Archbishop Fulton Sheen once said, there was never a preacher like the dying Christ. There was never a congregation like that which gathered about the pulpit of the cross. There was never a sermon like the seven last words. When they came to the place called the skull, they crucified him and the criminals there, one on his right and the other on his left. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. Well, for that, for that phrase to come from Jesus, it already um, shows that we're, we're in favor to Jesus. Um, you know, he's, he's begging the Father for, for our forgiveness. And, um, you know, I think that's the, I think, that's pretty much the, the whole point of, you know, Jesus' sacrifice is to bring us back into communion with God and you know that I guess that would make this the proper first first saying of Jesus to start off with asking for forgiveness for us for me um, makes me feel because I'm a woman I like to think about my feelings but how um, we should seek God every day. We should, um, and the way that we seek Him is that we seek for forgiveness and we seek to love Him daily because that's what makes us better people, better people for Him because we're not perfect, right? Um, like, you know, like being married. <laughs> you know, like we go about our day uh, and sometimes... Like, we butt heads because you want to um, play video games and um, I want to watch romantic comedies. <laughs> like, when we fight at the end of the night, we're always, we're always praying together, you know, no matter what. Because um, we do things, we, we, yeah, do things unknowingly sometimes. And it's, like, mm -hmm. such an amazing feeling to know that you can come to God at the end of the night and say, you know, God, I'm so sorry for doing all these things. Um, can you please help us become a better couple? Can you please continue to be the center of this relationship? In a marriage, you have to die to each other daily. And to do that, you have, you know, God has to really be the center of that relationship. As Christians, uh, God has been revealed to us. And, you know, we have, we have that opportunity to know and to, um, to not be ignorant anymore, not be ignorant to God, not be ignorant to ourselves. Um, and that's something we should strive for is, is to learn about God, to get to know him. It reminds me that, um, like how much God loves us, you know, how much, how much, um, still willing to erase things even though like we do the dumbest things you know how we um sometimes we do things intentionally that's like a sign of his love being poured out like so much um to forgive us for for our, our sins i mean especially um being you know like Jesus was being tortured and everything, and he still was like, forgive them, you know. Like, we put him up there, and he's still like, forgive them. <laughs> so, it just means a lot, and it shows um, 
how much we are loved. Forgive him, Father. Sometimes he just doesn't know. Just kidding. You might have to edit that one out too. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? No, that was definitely. <laughs>